Hello and welcome to another Lesson Picks instructional video. Today we're going to look at a great new feature we just added to Lesson Picks, Dynamic Picture Cards. Let's take a look. We'll start logged into Lesson Picks with 12 body part symbols in our tray. When we click Create Materials, we'll see the standard templates that we're used to. The first one, Picture Cards, is where this new feature lives. Here you see the symbols from our tray. We'll leave the text in order as is and hit Next. Notice the new tabs at the top of the Options screen. The one named Classic will take you to the old template options. Here you would choose the card layout that best matches what you're trying to do. There are lots of options here, but many of you wanted more flexibility. That's what the Dynamic tab is for. On the Dynamic tab, you start with one of three options that describes what you're trying to accomplish. You can make cards as large as possible while fitting on a set number of pages, you can specify exactly what size you'd like each card, or you can request a specific number of rows and columns on each page. LessonPix will dynamically lay out the page to fit your needs. Let's try a few. First, let's make all the pictures fit on one page. This is a very common request. I don't remember how many pictures were in my tray, but I know I want to make them as big as possible on a single page. So I'll choose Fit All Cards on One Page. Now I can set all the remaining options, although the defaults are often just fine. We'll make the title Body Parts. The Page Size option includes Portrait and Landscape Pages for Letter, Legal, Ledger, or 11 by 17, and A4 sizes. I'll choose Letter, Landscape. Notice that we didn't have Landscape as an option before with the classic picture cards. The Border option lets me specify how thick I want the border to be, and the Spacing option controls how much space there is between the cards. I've chosen a medium border and wide spacing. I'll choose a Century Gothic font and a box color of dark blue. OK, we're ready to make our cards. Hit Finish and Lesson Picks will generate them. When we look at the generated PDF, you'll see that the card generator chose three rows and four columns to make the largest cards possible on a single page. Let's hit the back arrow and see what happens when we change the number of pages. Now we're asking to spread the pictures across three pages. All the other options are the same. Notice that the cards are now laid out two by two because that makes the most efficient use of the space. Downloading the PDF shows that the symbols are now evenly spread across three pages. This is a great way to quickly make cards that are as big as possible without wasting paper. Let's take a look at the other layout choices. Hitting back, we'll choose the second option, specifying an exact size. Let's say we've measured a Velcro schedule holder, and it requires cards that are 2.3 inches across. We'll choose 2.3 inches. You can also choose centimeters and millimeters. We'll also choose none for spacing to make cutting them simpler. The other options can remain the same. We'll hit finish to make our cards. Downloading the PDF, these cards will be exactly the size we requested, 2.3 inches across. To make that happen, the tool has spread them across two pages. Here's a quick tip for making cards an exact size. When you print them from Adobe Acrobat or other PDF viewer, make sure you choose Actual Size or 100% in the Print dialog. If you choose Fit or Shrink Oversize Pages, Acrobat will resize your cards just a little bit to make sure the margins on your printer are safe. You don't want that in this case, since you'll be cutting them out and you want them exactly the size you specified. Let's hit back and look at the last layout option. We'll choose Place in Grid with six columns and two rows. Hitting Finish, the preview shows what we'd expect. Our 12 pictures are spread across just two rows, even though there's more space on the page. That's exactly what we asked for, and everything fits perfectly. As a final example, let's go back and choose 12 columns and eight rows. This seems odd since we won't fill all those cells, but that's what we want here. We've just made a grid with the first row filled and all the rest empty. Great for charting and other activities where you need to keep track of things. I hope this has given you a good idea how the new dynamic picture cards work. It's a very powerful addition to Lesson Picks, and we hope you like it. You might have noticed the beta stamp on this feature. While it's been well tested, we expect just a few adjustments to things like border widths, spacing options, and the like. If you've got suggestions, please join the LessonPix users group on Facebook and let us know how we can make this even better. 
Thank you for using Lesson Picks, and as always, good luck and have fun.